today I'm going to walk you through the basics of pre and post increments. We're going to start with a bit of sample code that may look familiar from uh, our last video. This is uh, the basic sort of layout for a C++ code. We have our function here. Um, we might as well save this as something else this time. I'll call this sample2. So this is sample2.cpp and we're gonna start by putting in a basic for loop. This is a basic counter um, because I'm gonna want to show you the difference between the post and pre increment. But to start, we'll type int i equals zero i is less than 10, i plus plus. That's the post increment right there. And then we'll say C out. And we'll just leave this blank for now or C out i with a space afterwards. So then we'll compile this code using CL slash capital EHSC sample 2cpp and then call sample 2 to run it and it counts from 0 to 9. Again, uh, we start at 0. So I don't like the way this looks. I want to break it up in line, so I'll add that end line function to pre pretty it up a little bit. We'll compile again. We'll run sample two. And there we go. That's uh, pretty basic counting for loop. Um, it's outputting the I variable and it's a pretty boring for loop. Uh, so, you know, you can mess around with this count. You can change this to a super big number, uh, get straight up matrix on this, and then run it. Um, So yeah, don't do that, um, unless you're interested, I mean, there's nothing that can really go wrong. So just to check, all right, the code is back to normal, it's doing its counting thing. Uh, now we're going to want to learn about these uh, pre and post increments. So in order to illustrate this concept, I'll set up the for loop to output our pre-increment, our i affected by this pre-increment. And then when we go to run the program again, we can see it's outputting, uh, counting every odd number, it looks like. And now, to illustrate the post-increment, we'll copy that code over, except affect our i by the post increment. Clear the screen, recompile the code, and run sample 2. Alright, so notice the pre increment and the post increment output different numbers. This is because the pre-increment increments the value of a variable before using it in an expression, whereas the post-increment increments the value of a variable after executing the expression completely in which the post-increment is used. So I want you to look at the output of this and think of all the situations in which a pre-increment and a post-increment can be useful to uh, the logic of your code. 
Or you could just mess around with it. Put some weird numbers in, see what happens. And keep at it. All this stuff will be making sense in no time.